Okay, so take two, because I filmed this video once already and realized that the angle was so off and it was cutting me off at like here. <sighs> this is what happens when you don't film with a viewfinder. You just look at the camera and you're like, hi, I hope I'm in frame. Am I in frame? Welcome to Field Notes and today I'm going to be addressing a question that I get asked a lot. Why are you getting a degree in geology if you have very little interest in pursuing a career in geology? Well, ignoring the economical aspect, I usually give them this answer. Well, I'm really interested in archaeology and physical anthropology and paleontology is a part of geology and they marry very well, paleontology and archaeology, which is true. However, is that really the reason I'm a geology major? The answer is no. I could have chosen any number of sciences and created my own connection. So why did I pick geology? Well, first of all, it was a pretty late decision. I came into the university as a junior and I switched my second semester of being a junior. That is not something that I recommend if you can avoid it. The real reason that I switched was because it blows my goddamn mind that I can figure out how the earth works. It seems so crazy to me that I can now look at a mountain and I can tell you what happened to create that mountain. Not only that, but now I can go out to a rock and go, yeah, that's a sandstone. Nine times out of ten, if you tell them it's a sandstone or a shale, you're probably right. Just, just FYI. But the weirdest, coolest part about geology is to think about humans as a species. We've been around for approximately 200,000 years as what we would consider modern humans. In that 200,000 years, we have not only been able to create everything that we know, make a civilization and figure out how to work together to get bigger projects done, but at the same time, we have been able to figure out 4.5 billion years of Earth history. We have been on planet Earth for a teeny, 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 tiny sliver, and yet we have figured out almost everything that has happened before us. And on top of that, our knowledge doesn't stop at our planet. It goes to having ideas about the universe and how the universe even got started. And looking at other planets and other rocks, and we're able to determine the characteristics of these planets based on what we know about ours. That to me is what makes geology so cool, is the fact that we have been here for so little amount of time and yet we have somehow managed to get like five billion years worth of information. I have oftentimes sat in my geology classes and just watched the professor lecture and gone, oh my god, this is insane. My brain is literally being blown by what he is saying. Have you ever sat there and tried to keep a straight face while somebody was telling you something that blew your mind? It's hard. It's hard to keep a straight face because you're just like, I am in awe of your knowledge and wisdom. So a lot of the time I think the teachers that I have are so used to saying these things and so used to knowing them that I don't think they appreciate it as much anymore. And I'm like a total huge dork because I'm sitting there like, that is crazy, that is so insanely cool that we can know this. And I think having a background in anthropology has actually helped me because I'm able to appreciate how short of a time and what humans really are and how we have somehow risen to the ranks of being able to figure out the entire universe while most animals are only figuring out how to live day to day. We've reduced that pressure so that now we are able to figure out what happened before we were even a blink in Mother Nature's eye. So that is why I am studying geology, because knowing these things I think is just tremendously cool. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, comment down below if you have a topic that you would like me to talk about. Um, I'm open to suggestions. I'll see you next time. Bye! Just when you thought this program couldn't get any nerdier, I come on with a Spock t-shirt. That's right. Representing the Trekkies.